I just realized how awful that actually looks, but it works. <laughs> so what I'm doing, I'm trying to approximate the curve of the bus roof. Okay. I'm doing it from the inside because it's easier. So what I started off with here is I set up a level under the windowsill, basically pushed up against the windowsill. The clamp is holding it up to a broom handle that just happened to be conveniently there and the broom handle is stabilized by a towel. All right. The level is about level. And this end is sitting on a tripod. And now what's clever about this, I thought, was the, the tripod has a geared center column. So I was able to crank it up until the level was level. And then I locked the tripod and that basically held it there. So what I did, I, I drew a quick scale on my paper. Now. This was a complete fudge, but I came up with the center point here. This line is six inches across to make it easy. Um, I figured since here to here is three inches, and I wanted to break that into 48 inches, which it's slightly off, but it's close enough for what I'm doing. So I come up with a scale. 12 inches in the real world is about three quarters of an inch. So each of these tick marks is three eighths of an inch apart for six inches. Okay. So I measured it every six inches. And what was really convenient is the top of my level has inches on it. So I just went to 48, measured it up, 42, measured it up. And I just took my tape measure and just kind of held it at, say, 36. Thought I was kind of straight, and I guesstimated. All right, that's actually 20 and a half. I just wrote down 21. Now, what I'm thinking is, the plan here, I'm going to go ahead and convert these numbers, come up with a measurement, and draw my curve. You know, I'm gonna draw my curve here. Looking for snakes, rabbits, whatever. All right, there's a nice shot of the curve, all right? The middle part of the roof is fairly flat. It doesn't, it's not a constant radius at all. It'll be a French curve. So, not a constant radius, kind of, kind of flat in the middle, then it breaks pretty sharply at the edge, all right? I was really looking hard at making drop top camper so basically well not drop top sounds like a convertible um, there's some campers out there especially for off-roading where the roof drops down a good foot and a half or so so you end up with a camper that's very close to being level with the truck cab uh, and then it extends maybe 18 inches or something like that and what they do a lot of times the, the ones I saw that I liked had a fabric side kind of like a more like a um, like a tent trailer. Uh, I drew up three or four different ideas. I was thinking possibly something like a scissor lift, drive it from the end, um, gas struts, uh, worm drive, um, you know, a nut on a threaded rod, turn the rod and they'd all go up at the same time because they're all connected with the chain. It all got really complicated. Getting it right on the first try? Probably not. I don't really want to screw around building prototype after prototype to get it dialed in. Um, it just, nah, I didn't want to do it. So then I kind of got to thinking again, the other option is to do an arched roof like the school bus, okay? And since I'm living in a school bus, I've got, you know, obviously first-hand experience with this. If I had a six-foot ceiling in the center, yeah, 80 inches wide, okay? Um, the roof on the, the inside of the bus, I'm only about a foot narrower on the, on the camper platform, okay? So, I'm not as wide as a school bus, but if I copied basically the same curvature, only compressed it, but had the same points and just got them all closer together, I've got a little bit over a six foot ceiling here. By the time it gets down to the edge, it's dropped down nine inches drop on the outer edge okay so we can i mean that's that's just just rough arbitrary starting point but i think if i park them side by side people would see the, the similarity and if i can copy a little bit of the design element i think that would be kind of fun i'm more likely going to dome the front end a little more because the front of the school bus is fairly flat so that they got room for their their lights and i don't need that Although it would be hilarious to, to, to duplicate that, you know, put signal lights up there or something like that. I'm not even sure if that's legal. 
Shady. Um, it would be kind of cool to put camp lights up there. This I could put white glow lights that would just kind of light up the campsite. I, I'm going to play with that. I could also just put um, round windows in the front and kind of duplicate the same effects. That you have, you know, little skylights or you know, portals would be kind of fun. Rather than going through the complexity of making a, a, a drop-in roof, okay, extendable roof, whatever you want to call it, uh, the idea of the of dropping the roof is you get your center of gravity down and also to cut down on wind resistance. If I can drop it, say, 16 inches, that's a considerable difference in how much wind hits you. Now, if I do the rounded profile roof, keep a high center where you walk and then lower edges, I don't really miss the edges so much because, you know, if I'm standing, you know, cooking or something like that, my head is this far away from the wall, so I don't worry about that so much. It doesn't really bother me. Um, but yeah, that's, I mean, making the arched roof is complicated enough anyway, but I've done stuff like that before, so I know I can do it. Basically, duplicate a, a wing rib. I only need 12 ribs. You know, if I do one every foot, that's more, that's, you know, that's plenty. I don't think it's uh, beyond my capability to do it. It's, you know, that's the scary thing. I think I can do it. That's where you get into trouble. I could probably even drop the edges down lower on the on the wall side because um, you don't need it. You know, everybody everybody uses that space for over over cabinet storage. Well, I'm not going to use that. You know, I'll have a spot for a couple of totes underneath the counter or something like that. I pull them out when I need them, put them back in, throw a bungee across it, hold them in there. You're, you're done. Cool. All right, moving on.